One of the hottest trends in this year's Consumer Electronics Show is virtual reality, but some researchers over at Oregon State University say too much VR can put a strain on your body. This is concerning. Fox 12's Brian McMillan has a look at what one researcher has to say about how to protect yourself from a very real virtual reality injury. Yeah, virtual reality and augmented reality are two fast-growing technologies. You probably used uh, some of them in some games. They aren't just used for gaming, though. They're also used for education and workplace training. There are no standards, no guidelines for these new technologies, so an OSU researcher decided to study the impacts that both technologies have on the human body. Well, virtual reality is a full body experience where users wear a headset and they engage with the virtual world around them. Participants in the study had sensors placed on their joints and muscles. Researchers used motion capture to record their movements and how their muscles reacted. Researchers repeated the tests with the visuals placed at the eye level and then below eye level and above eye level. Participants reported strain in their shoulders and necks, especially after prolonged use. The findings could have a major impact with VR's increasing popularity. We talked to Oregon State University researcher Jay Kim and he says, we know a lot about the impacts of excessive computer use, but now it's time to focus on new technologies like virtual reality. He says he wants to get ahead of the game. At this point, you know, there are a lot of uh, guidelines and standards for the conventional uh, computer uh, interfaces, including you know, how they design the keyboard. Since there is no uh, such a standard or uh, guidelines for virtual reality and augmented reality, it is exciting for us to find the new uh, the findings can be beneficial for uh, the future studies and uh, future users. This is just the first study. There are many more studies that need to be done, but Kim hopes manufacturers will start taking into account the risks when designing their products. Virtual reality has all sorts of purposes right now, and there are ways to protect yourself. Kim says keep the headgear at eye level and avoid looking too far up or too far down, and then also Avoid using it if you're if you've been using it too long. Of course, you know just like a computer. Sure. That, that'll that'll Don't strain your eyes. In. That'll strain your body. Have you yeah. guys tried it before? I have. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've never tried it. I I want to. I think it'd be fun. But it I can totally fun. see how it would. You know. You could cause watch. Some trouble. Fox 12 on one of those things, and it would be like I, you were sitting right next. To right you. next Ooh. to us. Yep. That and would you, be fun. You'd look over and you'd see Mark Nelson over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All around the studio, you see all the garbage we have down here. You, you, don't, you don't want to see that, trust me. Brian, right, thanks, thank Brian. you.